If you've ever struggled to make a clean process diagram in PowerPoint or tried to drag boxes around in Word and wanted to throw your laptop, this video is for you. In a few minutes, I'll show you how to build a professional process flowchart using my free web tool and project manager helper.com. No expensive software, no messy formatting. It's 100% free. Hi everybody, I'm Laz from Project Manager Helper. I build simple free web tools for project managers, students, and anyone who needs to visualize or process data. Today, I'm going to walk you step-by-step step through how to create a process diagram or flow chart using my projectmanagerhelper.com flow chart tool. By the end, you'll be able to go from messy idea in your head to a clean flow chart. You can drop directly into a report, a slide deck, or a homework assignment. First thing we're going to do is go to projectmanagerhelper.com and scroll down to the flow chart tool. Open it up. The first thing you're going to notice is our shapes palette on the left side. From here, you will click to add different shapes into your canvas for your processes. So in this instance, we are going to add a start and a process. Let's also add a decision and the end. Once you click here on auto layout, it will display it in a clean format for you to work from. Now, if you want to start process, you can double click on the shape and name it. Step one, okay. Then we can name decision one and then the end. Keep in mind, if you hover over the center of the shape, you can click and drag the shape to wherever you like. If you like a uh, vertical diagram instead of horizontal, you can certainly do that. Next, you can click on the outer portions of the shape to initiate an arrow and you can link it to the shape below it. You can continue doing that. And then uh, let's say this decision, if it's no, it brings you back to the start. If it's yes, it brings you to the end. Now see how messy that looks? Well, if you click auto layout, it's gonna display it optimally for you to make it uh, easy to visualize. And you can customize colors if you click on an arrow select from the color palette uh, you can do that and now if you want to add a word for the decision let's say the decision is no it brings you back to the start and if the decision is yes it brings you to the end of the flow diagram here so that's it that's how you build a clean process flow chart using my web tool and project manager helper.com drop a comment if this has helped you let me know what kind of processes you mapped Hit the like so more students and project managers can find this video and subscribe if you want more tutorials on other tools like my Monte Carlo simulator, my regression lab, or word breakdown structure generator. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your next project or assignment, and I'll see you on the next video.